We're talking human rights issues now. In the wake of the 2019 International Human Rights Day, activists and lawyers want Nigerians to embrace integrity and make positive impact, just as the late human rights lawyer Ghani Foyemi did. They said this at the second annual Ghani Foyemi Impact and Integrity Awards in Lagos. We're taking a retrospective look at human rights in the country, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Adeinka Olumide Fushika, who serves as a chair of the occasion, says human rights abuses are worse in this democratic dispensation. Project Manager, Human and Environment Agenda Header, Sino Odubemi and others who gave keynote addresses condemn how deeply corruption now sits in the country. As long as we are alive as Nigerians and uh, the country as we have to keep on struggling and uh, fighting, so we cannot give up. It's our country, it's our lives, you know. Those of us that are a bit older, we are thinking about the coming generation. What are we handing over to them? Uh, is it this the, 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 the despondency that is all over the place that we'll be handing over to our children? You know. So those are things that are really bothering. And uh, you journalists, all of us, we have to join hands together to ensure that we rescue our country. Uh. We must strike a balance between what is plaguing us and what our aspiration is then we must talk of integrity. If we must build the, the country that we, the, that, type of, that type of country that we talk about every day, we must talk of honesty. If we must bring good life back to Nigerians, we must talk of honesty. So here we are talking of a currency that is strategically needed in this country today to drive us away from where we are, from the quagmire that we are. Please, we can reorientate ourselves. We can live a life of meaning that will make us to the men and women worthy of respect. Our nation shall become better respected. In the past, once you said we were from Nigeria, in fact, we could enter many countries without visa. Today, we are the ones chasing about visa as if they were licensed to. They also take time to pay glowing tributes to the late Ghani Foyemi and what he stood for. Here we are talking of immortalizing a man who stands out when it matters most. We are also talking not only of immortalizing him, you understand, of imbibing in the new generation that culture of honesty, integrity and transparency if we must build that nation. I'm sure it wouldn't sanction... He wouldn't believe what is going on, you know, with his uh, man in, in power. He wouldn't believe it. He would be wondering, ah, is this the same? Am I confused? Am I in another world? You know. Uh, and I also said that uh, even if he didn't die of heart attack, most likely, you know, he would be in detention. Awards were also conferred on deserving Nigerians for three different categories, Outstanding Integrity Awards, Outstanding Impact Award, and Valuable Whistleblower Awards. Moving on, Nigerian Bar Association